I mean, John Howard is arguably like one of the most important, you know, men in Toronto's history. And I purposely did not want to include him at all. The only thing I included was a poem that he wrote about her after she passed. I, I didn't want him included on purpose because we already hear about him all the time. There's plaques, there's, you know, there's like, you Google Colburn Lodge and it's all about him with like one line about, you know, Jemima Howard. My name is Sarah Algamal. Um, I'm a Egyptian Canadian uh, director and producer based in Toronto. Um, my journey to filmmaking was definitely not a straight path. So this one was actually a challenge for me because I probably have nothing in common with Jemima Howard. <laughs> um, but I think for me, like, I always try to have a very sort of empathetic, like, lens or to try to understand what I can or what connections we, I might have with this person in order to tell the story in the most honest way that I can. And so there were certain things in, in the story and learning about Jemima Howard and John Howard that I was able to pull from and, and think, okay, I can kind of relate to that. And one of them was her relationship to nature and to High Park. I found it really beautiful that even in her moments of like despair and, and you know, um, in health issues that she was dealing with, that she found that solace in nature. And I feel like having been born and raised in Toronto myself and having gone to High Park, like it was very beautiful to try to imagine us having that connection and what it feels like to be a woman and going through these things and, and, and literally looking to nature, you know, for, for peace and um, for meditation. And, and so I tried to portray her like as a human in that regard. This really centers on like mental health. Um, I myself, like I'm sure most women and people have gone through, you know, mental health in one way or another. Even in moments of depression, you could just laugh, you know, at a joke or like you could go for a beautiful walk. And so I wanted to show the complexities of what it would be like for someone like her. I know that there was moments of her, you know, hallucinating and but I wanted to show that, you know, she was also powerful and dignified and that you know, she loved painting. Like I made sure to include her hobby in there because I didn't want her to look like a one dimensional person. Part, parts of it I had to obviously imagine in terms of like, you know, her embracing nature or, or certain places in High Park. But um, yeah, I just tried to show her being this very soft, you know, person who had hobbies, who, who was strong, but also underwent mental health battles and physical battles. Um, yeah, so there's a lot there and there's a lot of symbolism. I mean, even in her screaming, I, I mean, I don't know if she ever screamed. There's one part where she screams. Um, but I think that also has to do with a lot of things. I even tried to allude to the um, idea of sort of being a settler and white guilt with that. I mean, I hope that in watching this film, they almost take this like same, you know, exploration that I did and getting to learn about Jemima, you know, like just getting to learn about her, getting to learn about, you know, not just Colburn Lodge, but it's, it's um, relation to High Park and then, you know, learning about High Park, learning about the indigenous communities and, and, and their impact on maintaining the land which they're still doing now and, and I got to learn through this project that the Indigenous Stewardship Circle are looking to reclaim the exact garden that Jemima used to um, basically run and, and own and, and love and that's another reason I called it Mimi in the Garden is because I wanted to allude to this future of the garden. Just I think whatever it is however you interpret that and make it become something but that's cool. So that was good. Um, I knew I was in the right direction. Yes. Yeah. So that's really great. And then um, his only, I think his main piece of advice was just to try to include um, the letters so that people would understand like that it's a real story. And that's yeah. just, it's good to solidify for people. These are real events. And that's what a letter from um, her, it was her husband. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, okay, this, oh, this is a really a thing that happened. I like yeah. what you're saying about, so it's a bit of a, um, it's almost like the forest spirit is watching. Even though it is a more abstract film, like I did still want to show people this is a moment in history. Um, and so that was a great piece of advice from Director X.